left on stage. At this point of the evening, I was left on stage. The doctor and I were Joe. <coughs> uh, Mark Twain told it like it was back in the days. They were to come up through the audience to meet me on stage and try to recruit me to go later that evening to dig up a body for the doctor's work, I guess. And I was on stage and I was looking out through the audience expecting them to enter at any point. And, and they didn't, they didn't enter. And I, and I stood there. Oh, what do I do now? Well, Mark Twain was a character in the play. He, he was the narrator and he broke the fourth wall. So I decided to break the fourth wall too. And as Muff Potter, town drunk, reprobate, I decided to hold my first AA meeting, tell people why I enjoyed alcohol and why I drank it and why I didn't, all the while going through my mind that if I could just sidle my way to the side of the stage, would the audience watch me lay down on stage and pretend to nap and just lay there for as long as I could until somebody came into the stage? And so I sidled my way talking to the audience about why I drink and, and what I saw and maybe I could get over it. And, and I got all the way to sitting down on the bench, ready to lay down, sharing a few last words with the audience. That's when the doctor and I were Jim decided to come up through the audience. Whoa! Carter in this version, the stage version, didn't do like the book and leap out the window and disappear never to be seen again. Uh, where uh, I Were Jim was going to get him because I Were Jim would later kidnap our dear Becky Thatcher. And I got to be, uh, shall we say, the comic relief the rest of the play. I even got to hunt through the caverns behind the boys looking for, and I made sure I did lots of comic potential, like, like I was in the dark and I was searching for my footing, and at the end of the evening I carried her shoe through the audience and, and said, look, and I helped. All right, all right, all right, here, there. Now you see that you don't spend this all on whiskey, Muff Potter. You're no good to me when you're drunk. Oh, we're pretty huh? good to you, Dr. Robinson. You couldn't do without us, I reckon. Now just leave me alone. Till tomorrow night, Doc, in the green. All right, here's the grave. Let's get to work now. Come on, Doc. Right here, Muff. Here. Right here, Muff. Here. Right here, Muff. Muff. Right, right there. Okay, right there. Here. Now, what are you waiting for? Get to work. You just hold on right there, Doc. Me and it. <laughs> Me and Muff, we done decided. We're worth more money than you done paid us. So you just out with another five, or you don't get no corpse tonight. <laughs> That's the talk. You thieves! Now you requested your payment in advance, and I paid you. Yeah. That's not all you done, is it now, Doc? All this time I've been digging up bodies for you and your experiments. You done been forgetting something, ain't you? One night, five years ago, I came to your father's door. I was asking for food. You said I worked there for no good and drove me away. Wait, wait a minute. And when I swore I could even, your father had me thrown in jail as a fake. Did you think I'd forget that? What are you doing? Not likely. You're just like all the rest. All of you against me. I don't know you mean nothing like this. Ah! I'm sorry, Muff. 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 Muff.
score set. Dirty business, Muffet. What you have to go and kill him for? Me? I've never done this. Now that sort of talk won't wash, Muff. What you got in your hand if you didn't do it? Oh, oh God. Why did I drink tonight? I'm all in a muddle. I can't recollect nothing hardly. Tell, tell me, Joe. Honest now. Did I do this? Oh, Joe, I didn't mean... Oh, God, help me. I didn't mean to do this. It's awful, Joe. And him so young and promising. How did it happen? Oh, uh, you and him got to scuffle, and huh? he knocked you down. You come up all staggering and reeling like, no. went for the knife and jammed it into him just as he fetched no. you with another clip. No. And there you lay, dead as a wedge till now. Oh, God, have mercy on my soul. I didn't know what I was a doing. I swear I didn't. Uh, Joe, Joe, say you won't tell. You won't tell, right, Joe? Joe, I always liked you, Joe, and, and I stood up for you, didn't I? Don't you remember? All right, all right. right. Stand now, this ain't no place for your blood. Thematic unity.